A female in the 60s presents the emergency department with breathlessness. Can you see an abnormality? Let's go through the case. Here we are dealing with an AP chest x-ray. As well as looking at the hilar regions themselves, it's important to assess the area around the hilum of each lung, as it can be easy to miss lung masses and consolidation in these areas. If we look below the hilum on the left, we can see the lung is relatively clear. Compare that to the right, and we can see patchy opacification suggesting that there could be consolidation to account for the acute presentation. Another review area is the retrocardiac region, and there appears to be slightly increased density behind the right side of the heart. However, when you look closely, there is a straight contour defining this, and the density of this when it overlies the lung suggests this could just be paracardiac fat rather than a mass or consolidation. There is another abnormality, however. I don't consider any chest x-ray review complete until I've zoomed up on the apices and assessed three things in particular. One, look for a pancos tuber, so look between the ribs for an opacity not seen on the contralateral side. Then look for a pneumothorax and a lack of lung markings between the ribs. And also piece apart the ribs and make sure you can follow all of these without bone erosion and check there's no cervical rib as well. Now if we look closely on the left side here, I think we can make out some lung markings at the apex between the ribs. On the right, however, I can't see any lung markings. This is suspicious for an apical pneumothorax. The cardinal signs of a pneumothorax on a chest x-ray are a lack of lung markings usually at the apex, and secondly, what we call a pleural line. Now there are two layers to the pleura, the outer parietal layer and visceral inner layer. In a pneumothorax, gas is introduced between those layers and they come apart. And you should be able to see the visceral pleura as a thin white line. This usually shows as a line that parallels the chest wall. And I think that's what we can see over here. So this is a case of a pneumothorax. Now the important thing whenever you see a pneumothorax on chest x-ray is to assess for a tension pneumothorax. Here there is a one-way valve with air getting in but not getting out. This produces a pressure effect on the mediastinum which shifts away to the contralateral side and inevitably leads to arrhythmias and can then lead to a cardiac arrest. So with a tension you may see the hemidiaphragm on that side become more flat and it's useful to compare to previous films to do that. The other sign to look for is shift of the mediastinum. Here, if we look at the trachea, although there is some slight deviation at the level of the aortic arch, this is fairly normal. Above this, the trachea looks fairly central, so I don't think there's a tension here. In this case, the pneumothorax was aspirated and the patient returned for serial x-rays. Here's one at six weeks, at which point we would expect the patchy consolidation inferior to the right hilum to have improved. However, we can see there is a persistent opacity inferior to the right hilum. Given this hasn't improved, we now have to be thinking about a primary lung cancer. A CT scan shows that there is a lesion within the right lower lobe which is worrying for primary lung cancer. If we reconstruct the CT, this can help us realise what the chest x-ray findings related to. Here we can see the lesion below the right hilum. Then on this image we can see this straight contour. We saw this on the initial film and it looks like paracardiac fat just as we suspected. If you've watched these videos before, you'll know that the workup for a primary lung cancer that can be treated radically involves a PET CT. This shows the lesion is avid and there are no other nodes or metastases. A lung biopsy performed by radiologists proved a primary lung adenocarcinoma. The patient went on to have a right lower lobectomy and remains in complete remission. The lesson here is firstly always zoom up on the apices as a pneumothorax can occur when you're least expecting it and any apparent consolidation on a chest x-ray needs a six-week follow-up to make sure that it resolves.